Hey everybody, this is going to be a video on a gift that I was given um, that actually really blew me away. Um, this is a very expensive Bible and the giver um, who did this was just a great blessing to me. Um, you don't just get these Bibles given to you every day. I've, I've had Bibles given, but this is the one of the nicest ones that I have been, been given. Um, so I want to say thank you to that person. Um, who wants to remain unnamed. Uh, thank you very much. It's a great blessing to have this Bible and I want to uh, do a good review of it. Uh, this is a Cambridge uh, black goat skin leather with a synthetic lining. Um, I think it runs around a hundred and I think in the hundred and sixty dollar range maybe give or take more or a little less I'm not totally for sure. Um, they do make a wide margin version of it too, so be aware of that. Anyways, take a look at the grain. It's a lambskin texture. Um, the stitching is really nice, just like you would see on a local church Bible. They don't glue the perimeter. They do a very nice job around the edge. Um, one thing that I really like about this one is how it lifts up. They give the binding a lot of room and they curve the spine really well. It just it feels really good in your hand when you go to lift the Bible. It just fits really good in your hand. It's a very floppy Bible. Almost feels like they come to you pre-worked uh, in. They're just that soft. They come with two um, very lightweight style ribbons which I'm gonna um, change in this one. I'm, I have a friend that's sending me some Nice Beresford ribbon, uh, golden brown, so I'm going to try that out. I was going to hold off and do the video until I got that, but I thought I should just do the video now with the um, stock ribbons in there so everybody can see what they would get if they do order this Bible. Um, I like that they put Holy Bible on the front. It has that old school kind of feel to it. Um, there's your red letter edition, Cambridge, and Holy Bible. The uh, ribbing is just an imprinted ribbing like you'd see on an R.L. Allen. And I do have a uh, TBS Bible, which is made by Cambridge um, through TBS Ministries. But uh, Young Blood does the same binding as these Cambridge, and they do the same thing. It's just kind of a, an imprinted leather mark. <coughs> Excuse me. This uh, leather is very flexible. I mean, right out of the box, you don't have to worry about uh, crinkling it. I know that some other lever leathers, when you do this... Um, you'll get like little crinkles and you'll get show through on um, the inside liner. You don't get this with this Bible. Um, the synthetic liner is just very sturdy, super soft, um, has that shine to it. But it, I, I wish that they would actually start using this on some of their lesser Bibles, like the uh, calf split would be nice if they would use the synthetic liner. Um, and other companies I wish would start using the synthetic liner. It, it's just, it's very nice for not having leather it gives you that flexibility that you're looking for um, I'm sure that they uh, brings cost down too so it'd be nice to see that instead of the paper or whatever they use um, the gilding's done very nice uh, this has art gilt um, it's not very dark it's kind of a uh, salmon kind of color, color that they do of red it's done very nice uh, as you can see the Bible just wants to just totally buckle over because it's so soft. Um, I, there's no other Bible I've had really other than the R.L. Allen that I had for a while that I sent back to my friend. Um, it was like that too right out of the box. It's just really super floppy. Uh, the lambskin has a certain kind of smell to it too that's very unique. I'm used to calfskin but the lambskin has kind of a sweet uh, kind of smells like it reminds me of like a cigar, sweet cigar smell mixed with, with a cowhide. So you get that kind of hide smell of an animal like when you walk into a, a leather shop with a sweet kind of smell. And it, it, it just kind of fills up the room when you take the Bible out of the box. It smells really good. Um, this is the paper that comes with your Bible. Uh, it's the uh, warranty guarantee that this product shouldn't fail on you. If there's any defects, Cambridge will take it back no matter what. I think it says on here no matter how you received your Bible too. Somewhere on there. So it's a really nice you know, thing to have with your Bible when you 
buy a nice high quality Bible. And there's where it says goat skin cover. It has a very nice uh, family history pages. I like the color that it has, the blue. It's very pretty. And then the bold ink is what makes this Bible uh, a lot, you know, this is what stands out about this Bible the most, is the ink is very bold, very dark, and you'll see that with the red ink. Um, here it says that it is printed and bound by uh, Youngblood. This one actually just says bound in the Netherlands, which is by Youngblood. They do R.L. Allen and all of your higher brand Bibles. It's the, uh, you know, world-renowned printers so that's where they go and and you can tell the difference when you open up your bible compared to other companies the quality is just unmatched and look how dark that is this has the translators to the reader which is really neat which i've only seen in my local church bibles so uh, if you're into that that's a really cool thing to have and the darkness of the text is just amazing and you look at the font and how dark that is see how crisp that word it's just it's leaps and bounds the best print that I've seen um, next to my TBS Bible which I can show you if you haven't seen my other videos I'll compare it um, which is done by um, same bindery same printer actually that does that Bible so very clean text very dark and there's the art gilt um, the camera's actually showing it a lot lighter in color it's, it's a little bit redder than what you're seeing on film. Um, has a more uh, salmon kind of color to it than this. This is kind of like a faded pink on, on the camera, which I wish I was getting a better color for you on that, but yeah, just be aware that that's darker than what you're seeing. Get up here to the opening page. The paper is super soft ghosting. I would say the ghosting is pretty much normal. Um, since the text is so bold, you just don't notice the ghosting at all. And it's not um, lined text back to back. It is actually off by just a little bit, but you can't really tell. It almost looks like it is. So. That is Genesis. You can see the ghosting on camera is not that bad. Um, Everybody is saying, you know, that I've heard that has these, and I would agree that this is probably one of the best reader King James on the market. If you're just wanting to read your Bible, um, if you have reference, want references, they're there, but they do not put any kind of letters or numbers in the text. What they do is they do a number, as you can see, a dark number that leads in 28, 29, and it just goes by the verse that's in the last chapter. And then when you get to your next chapter, it starts with one, two, three again. And then when you jump over, you have verse six here, you have six, seven, eight, and it follows it. So you know it's just off to the side of what you're reading. And it just keeps all of that stuff that's usually in the text that uh, causes you to get, you know, just too much, too much stuff going on in your page. It takes that away and it makes it a really nice read for people. And the paper is probably... You know, other than my new handy size Thompson, I would say it's next, the softest paper that I've had. Um, TBS, I think the TBS Bible, in my personal opinion, is better. Um, if you can say better, I mean, it's all a preference type thing. This, this is amazing paper. It's beautiful. There's no, you know, in comparison, it's pretty much the same. It's just a taste. The TBS has more of a yellow uh, color to its paper, so that's why I like that paper. This really flips nice and easy. Um, it's probably one of the most softest, comfortable Bibles to flip back and forth. You get no um, crinkling in the gutter. There's absolutely zero crinkling sound. I mean, there's nothing. You can't hear anything. That is that is just a high-quality Bible. And usually when you get a very nicely made Bible that has been stitched properly, you don't get a lot of sound. Um, some Bibles just have that sound. It's kind of their, their you know, thing. Uh, Thompson chains make a lot of noise, but they don't bug me. Um, my local church Bibles make a lot of noise, but they don't bug me. Um, some Bibles just have a different type of paper, so, you know, this is a, I haven't hardly used this one that much, but 
It's a little stiff. This is a Cameo. See, listen to that from local church. You get a ton of noise in that gutter. So if that's something that bugs you, um, like terribly, they might not be the best Bibles for you if you can't live with that. Uh, if you get a Cambridge, be aware you're not going to have any crinkling whatsoever. Nice and quiet. Very good stitch job and softness of paper. And the main thing about this one that I love is the red ink. Uh, it seems like nobody knows how to do red ink anymore. Um, Holman seems to do a pretty good job. And another thing that I noticed just lately on Eggman Mania's videos of his red letter that he just purchased, uh, a 110 red letter from local church, the red has changed, and I, they do a lot better red in the new local church Bibles. So I would actually love to get one here in the future sometime. Um, that was one thing I didn't like because they were so pink. But as you can see with the Cambridge Bibles, the red is just amazing. It's very dark. Keeps a very even um, darkness on each page. But there is fading. Um, even in this you know, very expensive Bible, you're going to get a little bit of uneven ink once in a while. Um, you know, it's it's not a perfect perfect thing so but since they're so dark you can barely even tell it since it's on a different page you don't notice as much um, from what I've seen it doesn't do it from page to page but sometimes you'll turn the page and you'll have a little bit less um, darkness on some of the red but it's not something that's going to cause you to you know lose your reading or not want the Bible as you can see all the red is very beautiful very dark the black is just I can't say better. It's the best print other than my TBS, which is identical almost um, in print. But boldness wise, uh, I haven't seen a better Bible. And look how dark the red gets here. This is an area where the red gets very dark in this Bible. And then I will switch pages here if you see this in the video. That's the big difference. Now this, if you're just here, you would say, oh, that's great red. That looks awesome. But when you flip over here and you see how dark it was just two pages before, eh, that might make some people a little bit upset considering the price that you pay for these Bibles. Um, some people might get kind of upset about that. Me, I don't really, doesn't bother me. But you can see the difference right there. And since the red's done so well that you know, since it's on the next page, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, it goes right back to the darker red. And then it starts to even out. So it only happens on a couple pages throughout the text. Um, and they only do red in the Gospels. They don't do it in Acts or in Revelations. So um, you won't see any red once you get past the Gospels anyways. So I think overall, it's, it's one of the best looking red ink Bibles that I've ever had. And seen actually online. I would say Cambridge has the best red on the market. It's beautiful. And this Bible flips through very well. It has a concise dictionary, which is a plus in this Bible. Um, focus that in for you guys. It has your basic concordance, a glossary of words. And then you have a dictionary, which, you know, a lot of Bibles don't have. They add that. But overall, it's pretty much a plain Bible. Um, there's not a lot of stuff going on in there. If you like a good, clean text that is done very bold, very clean for reading without, without being having a lot of distractions, you will love this Bible. Um, overall, though... For me, uh, money-wise, because I don't have a whole lot of money, um, I would go with local church. If, if you don't have the money for a Cambridge Bible, get a local church Bible. They, they are beautiful Bibles, and there is not a ton difference. Um, Quality-wise, they're built like tanks. But if you have the money and you really, really want to have a Cambridge or an Allen, I say go ahead and pull the trigger. Anyways, I want to say thank you to the person that blessed me with this Bible. It was a great blessing. And I'd like to say goodbye to everybody. And if you have any questions, just shout. Take it easy. Bye.